Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading. So let's just hop straight into it, okay? Angel Spirit Guides, Ancestors of Mine of the Highest White Light. Give me some messages here for my YouTube collective, please. And thank you. You got somebody here that's wanting to work on this connection. I feel like in the past, this person didn't put enough work in to keep it going. All right. So it could have made it like unrequited in the past because it was one sided. I feel like you, Empress, was giving more in this relationship than this divine masculine in the past. And that is why this person with this star is wanting to heal this connection. He's wanting to put the work in and he's wanting to work on it now because he know what all you can give, right? He know how much you love. You have already shown your loyalty. You, are, you, had, you have already shown how much you love this man. You have already showed who you are as a person, your character. You know what I'm saying? Your soul. And so this person now want to give you that in return here. He's wanting to work on this connection. He's wanting to heal things with you. I feel like you have been nothing but an example of how a true human being should be. Because you're somebody that's definitely very, very, very close to God here. You have a very structured life. You're very wholesome. Okay. But you're an inspiration. All right. To this person. And, and you made your person... Um, see himself for... <clears throat> see himself for who he truly is. I feel like your person seeing his true worth through you. Y'all, whether your person admitted it or not in the past, this connection is definitely fated to happen. Okay, but I'm feeling like with this star here, he knows that now. He know it. He know that this is a soul connection. It's something deep. <clears throat> I'm getting we're not finished here. <clears throat> so wherever you are, what wherever you all are now currently and you all relationship with your divine masculine whether you all are reconciling with each other just went into separation getting ready to um or whatever because everybody is on a different timeline uh, healing is definitely occurring okay Yeah, you are an earth angel. This person look at you as an angel. All right. And this man is ready to work on things with you here. This this temperance is right under this eight of pentacles. So that's definitely what he's wanting to do. He's wanting to give you all of him. I'm hearing that song. Um, Could all of me love all of you? Yeah, he want to love all of you. He want to give you all of him, okay? Because you make him happy. The son, you make this man happy. I'm telling you, you just don't know how happy you make him. When this man talk to you, when he see you, when he around you, he's the happiest. He He's seeing that. 
He's not this happy when he's around anybody else. He's only this happy when he's around you. got trading places here <laughs> so but i'm not getting that i mean it could be that because this person is missing you right all right he could <laughs> tonight you're on the top tonight i'm on the bottom because we trading places is that what he said I can't take no more, tell me you ain't stopping Cause we trading places But we gonna do some things a little different tonight Y'all, your person could go crazy when you like Ryan, child <laughs> But what I was getting with the trading places is like Things are changing places It's like where you was constantly like telling this man how you feel, maybe what you want, um, how much you love him, how much you care about him, and you know, just giving all of you to him. I feel like it's finna change. Like it's finna really be where he's finna start telling you how he feel. He's finna be opening up his heart. You know what I'm saying? He's finna give you all of him now versus it being how it was in the past where you were giving, 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 and he was taking, 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 taking. Like, it's about to change. So it's like balance is going to be restored because it's not going to be where he's going to be giving, 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 and you're not going to give anything. It's just that he has to prove himself that, you know, he's worthy of your love now because you gave to him freely at one point and he rejected it <clears throat> or denied it right and so now he's wanting to show you how much he loves you but now he got the proof that he's even worthy of being in your life like he has to make you trust him and believe in him and be you know vulnerable with him letting your guard down with him and whatever you know what I'm saying because I feel like when he come in and ready to pour his heart out and stuff it's gonna really be at the point where it don't matter too much anymore because you have given so much and I feel like for so long and him denying it or rejecting it and it's like okay <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like he he have to make you feel uh vulnerable with him again or you know comfortable where he he has to work on trust. So that means however he is, he has to be consistent. Okay. He has to say and do for you to like let your guard down with him. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like he's going to be able to get the same you that he got you at first because, for one, it probably took a while. Two, he denied it for so long and rejected it. So it's like, no, this must not really be what he want. But I feel like he really did. But because, like I said, he has did it for so long, you all like, okay, it's not so many times I'm going to let you tell me that it's not that or this ain't what you want or 
you know, you're in this non-committal energy. I'm just going to move on. You see what I'm saying? So now what's going to happen is he's going to be the one constantly telling you. So it's kind of like he was the runner, you were the chaser. Well, guess what? Now he's going to be the chaser. I don't feel like you're going to be running from it, but I just feel like you're not. Your guard is up because I feel like you don't really trust him to let everything out like you once did. So he has to he have to really prove himself and get that trust back for you to open up like you was you were once before. That's all. I don't feel like the love went anywhere. It's just that if somebody comes to telling you over and over that they don't want a relationship or they don't want this or they're in a non-committal energy or they want to keep their options open. You're not going to keep pushing. Eventually, you're going to fall back. And that's kind of like what happened. But your person really didn't want you to fall back, though. That's the thing, you know, but you weren't finna keep on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Okay, your person could be wanting to come in and like spoil you most definitely here okay this person feel like y'all gonna have a very successful life yeah with the star and the six of wands okay now somebody here is in star energy now this could be where y'all where your person wanted to keep his options open, was non-committal, and you all became in this star energy. Like, like you all, like, um, became like an overnight, y'all, why well, I'm getting like an overnight success or something like that. Because the star and the six of wands, it's like, uh, a celebrity status like I feel like y'all literally gonna be a star or coming to some type of star stardom or something like that y'all okay a lot of people gonna look up to you be inspired by you here you're following your dreams whatever it is you're following your dreams and people gonna watch you gonna be watching you or something but you're definitely an inspiration here okay yeah, whatever this is, you're going to be in your life purpose. You're getting a lot of public recognition and honor for something. Let's see what this is. Yeah, Empress, something slow could have came in. With this Empress and this Knight of Pentacles, whatever this success and fame is, something could have been going on for a, direct, or a long duration or it could have took a while for you to come into this stardom or something. But it's like now it's here or it's getting ready to come. And maybe it took a while or something for this to happen. But this was something faded. It was written in the stars for you to be famous or something. Y'all, if y'all not famous yet, y'all about to be. Y'all about to be rich. Yeah. Collective, this is you, Divine Feminine. Something could have been going on for a while with you. And maybe God needed you to have a little bit more faith or something. But you're about to be famous. But you're an inspiration, though. People is going to look up to you. This was something that was faded. You were meant to be rich or famous. It's getting ready to happen if you, know, if you have not already uh, came into some type of wealth or stardom or a celebrity status or something like that, then that's something that's getting ready to happen, y'all. It's something that you're doing. It's something that has happened that... Let me go get my other dick real quick. Let me see something.
Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, some of you all are getting ready to build something from the ground up. So maybe this is some type of business or something. You're about to build and create something. So you're going to get a lot of uh, public recognition for something that you have created. It's something that you're, if you ain't created this yet, then it's your future energy. But if you have gotten into this celebrity status energy and this star energy, then this is just confirmation for you. Okay. But definitely y'all are about to be very successful for something that you build and create. It's going to be very, 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 very successful here. Okay. Some of you are getting ready to write a book. You're going to be inspiring. Didn't I say y'all going to be an inspiration? Didn't I say that? Okay. So some of you all, you're going to be inspiring people by something you writing. A book. Some of you all finna come out with a book. Okay. Um, and whatever you choose to write about, whatever you choose to put in this book, it might, it's going to be like a bestseller, but you're going to heal people, inspire people. You're going to teach people. It's going to be entertaining all in one. It's going to be all four of them. Okay. It's everything that's in this book is going to be coming straight from your mind and your heart and your soul. And you're, it's going to be very inspiring. OK, and so that could be something that you're about to create, but it got built and create. So it, it's a multitude of things that I feel like you're about to do. I'm telling you, like your your story is going to be very, very, very inspiring. Y'all people going to want to hear you speak. I'm telling you to you old and gray. Y'all, I'm getting the I'm, I'm getting the Titanic. The people that was on the Titanic, the survivors. And to those people like left this earth, y'all, people always wanted to interview them. People always wanted to hear their story. People always wanted to see anything that they had like from that horrific experience. Like whether it was a, a watch or a picture or a necklace or anything like pictures, anything that people wanted to hear from the survivors. So maybe you're surviving something. OK, it wasn't a whole lot of survivors, but everybody wanted to interview those survivors, y'all. OK, so I feel like it's it's you're going to be writing a book. OK, you're going to be writing something. You're going to be building and creating something. And it's all going to be around a horrific or traumatic experience or some type of near death experience in your life. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's some type of horrific or traumatic or near-death experience that has happened in your life if this experience ain't happened yet then this is definitely future energy but some of y'all already know what this is but maybe you ain't received justice for it yet maybe it's not time just yet and god is letting you know this is something that's finna get ready to happen okay but y'all are definitely about to write a book on something that has happened or going on okay and you about to be rich. So some of y'all might even get paid from a near death experience or a traumatic event that done took place in your life or happening in your life. Okay. You're in your life purpose or this situation is going to put you in your life purpose. It was meant for you to bring divine healing light and love to this world. You have the light. You're the light. You have the healing light. You're a healer. That's your purpose. That is what God want you to do. Your whole purpose, y'all. And God creating you. And God bringing your parents together to bring you into this world, y'all. Was for you to bring your divine healing light and love to this world. Your love. You're the epitome of love. Your love. You're about to heal people. I'm telling you, if you ain't in your purpose just yet, 
whatever this situation is that I'm talking about is some type of traumatic event that's going to take place or some type of near-death experience, like I said, and it's going to put you in your life purpose. Now, this reading definitely ain't going to be for everybody, but it's for somebody here. And you're going to be writing a book and building and creating something from it. And you're also going to be rich from this situation because some of y'all are going to get paid from this. Yeah, you got too many cards out here to talk about healing. The star, that's all about inspiration. That's all about healing. Your life purpose involves healing. And then you got energy healing. So some of you all going to be like doing some form of Reiki healing people chakras, you're going to be able to, people going to be able to come in and you're going to know exactly what part of them needs healing. Even if they don't know, some people know where they need healing. Some people have no, absolutely no clue where they need healing. They just know some, a chakra, some could be blocked or all of them. They know that it's something. You're going to be able to tell them what they need, what needs healing. So some of y'all purpose is energy healing. Because you have the natural healing, energy healing abilities. Okay. And this is what you're going to be do, what you're going to be doing. This is actually for a lot of y'all. Y'all might have a business revolving this. This is something that y'all might be building. Okay. A, a energy healing business or something like Reiki. Because I feel like y'all already have mastered how to heal yourself. So you're going to be healing um, other people here. Let me see. <clears throat> yeah so definitely some of you are going to be a spiritual teacher you're going to be teaching y'all are going to be healing okay with whatever classes that you have okay or ses or sessions and seminars all right. Um, Spirit is saying, don't worry too much about this situation. Because whatever this, if you have not, if this ain't already happened, okay, don't worry about what could be getting ready to happen or take place. Because I really feel like whatever traumatic event or whatever near-death experience this is, some of you all could have already experienced this. Okay. And you all just been waiting to receive justice from it. But if some of you all by any chance have not experienced it yet, then spirit is saying, don't worry about that because you're going to get through it. Okay. But spirit is saying, ask for divine guidance, but don't worry here. Okay. Don't worry. But like I said, this definitely may not be for a lot of people. This is very specific here. Okay. But y'all about to be rich, I'm telling you. And y'all about to be famous. Y'all finna receive a whole lot of public recognition, divine feminine. <coughs> yeah. Oh, let me see. Let me grab some of uh, these here. Yeah, you got what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. So, y'all, you are, and then on this card, it looked like this woman right here is something dealing with the chakras. Whatever it is that you do collective, it could be something that you do that maybe could be out of the norm or something like that. Maybe people look at something you do as dark. 
Okay. I did not tell y'all this wasn't gonna be for everybody. <clears throat> I feel like this is very this is like a, a collective, like a personal for the collective or something, because this is very specific and whatever. This could be just for a few of y'all. So this could definitely be somebody here that's like a tarot reader, like you're in tarot or something like that. And you all know how that could be. Like um, uh, not every tarot card reader um is karmic or practice dark arts like voodoo and things like that. You know what I'm saying? Um and honestly, the good readers a, a lot of us are actual prophets we're really gifted and connected to god you know what i'm saying but you have a good and bad in everything that's just like somebody karmic going to church every sunday and they really a whole killer and they use church to cover up what they really do in the shadows so you have a good and bad in everything right it's not going to stop you from being religious for the people that's religious because you got people that's in church or they could be sitting next to you in the pulpit. That's bad. So it's the same thing with spirituality. It's a good and bad and everything. Just like you have good people in spirituality, you have the bad ones too. But I feel like because it's spirituality and it's not like connected to like a, a religion or anything like that, you know, supposedly, then people automatically perceive it as something dark and bad. You know what I'm saying? And so this could also be why you experience some type, some type of near death experience or some type of traumatic event because maybe you had somebody or some people trying to punish you for your gifts or maybe they thought that you did something dark or they was trying to make people believe that or something but it's showing what what you per, what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure because you're very gifted if you are a tarot card reader, you don't need those cards, especially if you have a channel. The cards really be honestly, you can get on here and you can you can pick up the same exact thing without cards and just talk. And you will still have people that watch you and ask you, can you show the cards? Because a lot of times when when we use cards, it's it's really for the visual for people to see. You don't have to use real gifted people don't have to use no cards. A real prophet don't really even call themselves a tarot reader. I feel like the people watching, that's what they call you. But no, we don't have to get on here and use no cards. We pick up on it. We already be knowing the energy before we even pick up the cards anyway. We we don't we are we get downloads all day every day awake sleep every day. We don't have to pick up a card, buy a card, nothing. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like maybe you because you're very gifted. Maybe whatever it is that you know had people attacking you or something like that. But I feel like people were trying to make you look dark or have people believe that you're into something that you have no business into. Like somebody tried to swap it. You do something to help people. You heal people, their lives, situations. And maybe somebody here tried to make you seem dark. But maybe it's because you're really gifted and you know what you know. And they wanted you to stop what you're doing or they didn't want nobody to watch you so nobody would find out what they were really doing or into. It's something like that, y'all. It's something that you're doing where it's some people that feel like it's dark or they tried to make people think that it was dark and people really start trying to attack you because of this. Yeah. 
I feel like they tried to switch something that's good and natural that God, God gave you and turn it into bad. They wanted people to look at it as bad, but it's not. And God is saying it's actually a hidden treasure because God gave you these gifts. Yeah. It's, it, this is kind of like a mixed reading, but you're about, y'all are about to be famous, okay, and very wealthy off of a situation. But you did have we're about to be rich. <clears throat> so divine feminine, you and your person about to be rich, okay? You and this person about to be rich here. All right. A lot of blessings are coming to the both of you all, not just you, but it's definitely something that you went through. Collective divine feminine. Yeah, look, I'm telling you, look, you got 88. OK, y'all could be seeing 88, 888 or 88, 88. You got it out the mud. It's a victory after your hard work. Then it say y'all going to be gaining some type of success after building and creating something. I'm telling you now, yeah, that victory gives me the chariot. Like everything is getting ready to balance out in your life. It's like you're about to be an overnight success. I'm telling you, it's like out the blue. It's like you're going to wake up and something is going to like happen like real quick. It's going to be like, Wow. So if y'all are still going through whatever this traumatic event is, something is finna get ready to change and something is finna get ready to happen to where everybody is finna know what's, what happened to you or who did it. Like everybody finna get ready to hear your story. Something is finna to change, I'm telling you. You're gonna have a lot of success off of whatever this is that you just endured. OK, but you're also a hard worker as well. So it's like you're about to create a lot of things here off of whatever this is. And you're going to be helping people. OK, maybe some people that went through the same things or you're going to be, you know, preventing people from getting into or maybe preventing something from happening to other people or something or just making them aware. You're going to be talking about your story. People are going to want to hear your story. Yeah, I'm telling you. I don't care how old you are. I feel like you're going to always have people wanting to come and uh, like interview you here. OK. But y'all about to be rich. OK. <laughs> you're about to be an inspiration to many. The world is going to get ready to know your name because I'm telling you, you're, you're like some type of survivor. OK. I'm telling because I'm picking up strongly on Titanic. Yeah, but you and your person are about to be together. This connection is going to be balanced out too. Okay. Yeah. Your person, he done changed. I feel like, you know, at one point your person was, you know, like non-committal or whatever, but he's changing that. This man going to want to be a family man and commit to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. This, this person ain't going to be able to think, eat, sleep, or live without you. He feel like he ain't going to be nothing without you. So if he ain't in this energy yet, y'all, I'm telling you, he finna be. He finna be because he, he, he's not going to be able to do nothing without you. I'm telling you. Yeah. And he he want to be more than friends. He realizing like he don't want to be just your friend because he in love with you. I feel like he was telling himself that y'all were just friends. This was just a friendship or even if y'all had an intimate encounter or intimate encounters with each other. He like, you know, we just friends and I do love you or I got love for you, but I don't want a relationship and do this and that, you know, but 
child, whatever it is. If this ain't happened yet, I'm telling something is gonna take place to baby. It's like he gonna be begging you back in his life. I'm telling because it said he can't think, eat, sleep, or live without you. So, baby, is I'm telling you, it's a lot finna get ready to take place if this ain't already happened. Okay, but you changed this man. So you making a non-committal man. I'm telling you, you want to be faithful and be a family man. All right. He 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 like, I don't know what I'm gonna do if you out of my life forever. So and baby, this man finna change because he can't he ain't gonna be able to live without you. But that's all I have for you all. I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your donations. God love you and I do too. Bye y'all.